What is war? War is organized and often prolonged armed conflict that is carried out by states or non-state actors that characterized by extreme violence, social disruption, and economic disruption. War should be understood as an actual, intentional, and widespread armed conflict between political communities and therefore defined as a form of political violence or intervention. Wild warfare refers to the common activities and characteristic of types of war or wars in general. So, to simplify, war is a situation or a period of fighting between countries or group of people. A war generally involves the use of weapons, a military organization, and soldiers. What is the impact of technology on war? The most important verb describing the impacts of technology on war is that it changed warfare. Technology has been the primary source of military innovation throughout history. It drives change in warfare more than any other factor. Technology has always been the contributing factor to the advancement and development of war equipment. They play a significant role in the way war was fought. With ever changing in advancement of technology, it will change the warfare even more. So here, I provide some example of technology that used in war. First, space weapons. Space weapons are weapons that use in space warfare. They include weapons that can attack space systems in orbit. The example, anti-satellite weapons. Space weapons include a range of warheads that can attack targets on Earth from space, intercept, and disable missiles traveling through space or destroy space system or satellites in orbit. There you can see the space weapons that some of the country that use nowadays. Second, GPS. With the help of GPS device, navigation is made easier. This is because GPS provides relevant details such as distance and shortest road to a preset location. Based on GPS, there are several things that will help in war. For example, for determining a location that will help them to determine a position. Second, for navigation. This is for getting from one location to another. Then, GPS also can use for tracking or monitoring object or personal movement. Then, it also can use in mapping that can use in creating maps of the world. Next, submarines. Submarines revolutionized naval warfare by introducing underwater vessels that capable of attacking enemy ships. The first successful submarine attack on a warship occurred during the American Civil War, which lasted from 1861 to 1865. Next, air warfare. Power aircraft were first used in war in 1911 by the Italians against the Turks near Tripoli. But it was not until the Great War of 1914 until 1918 that their use became widespread. Air warfare is almost entirely a creation of the 20th century in which it became a primary branch of military operations. Air warfare is so-called area warfare that tactics of military operation conducted by airplanes, helicopters or other aircraft. Air warfare may be conducted against other aircraft against targets on the ground and against targets on the water of beneath it. Okay, 
The last one is nuclear bombs. Nuclear bombs are humankind's most destructive weapons. These warheads draw their destructive force from nuclear reaction, which release enormous amounts of explosive energy. The world's first nuclear weapons or atomic bombs were developed by physicists working on the Manhattan Project during World War II. The first nuclear bomb was detonated on July 16, 1945 during the so-called Trinity test at the Alamorgado Air Base in New Mexico. The explosion created a massive mushroom cloud and the bomb's explosive power was equivalent of more than 15,000 tons. In August 1945, two atomic bombs were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan. The bombings effectively ended World War II, but ushered in decades of global fear of nuclear annihilation. To date, the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki remain the only uses of nuclear weapons in war. Since the beginning, science has been associated with war. Since the rise of modern science, many individual scientists have stripped their investigations toward military purpose. But the orientation of science to war was relatively sporadic until the rise of professionalized science under the auspices of the state beginning in the late 18s. The process of incorporation of science into the war system was greatly accelerated by the two world wars this century. And especially since World War II, science has become an essential part of military race. Okay, let's move to the next slide which is the importance of science on war. First, for funding. A large fraction of funding for science is directly or indirectly for the purpose of war. Whole fields of the scientific research can arise due to military influence such as operation research, the mathematical analysis of situation to determine optimal causes of action that grew out of the study of military problems. Okay, the second one is for directions. The specific scientific projects influence the whole direction of technological innovation. This in turn influences the ongoing focus of scientific research, which is at all times influenced by current technologies. Types of weapons that use on war. It have three types of weapons, which are biological weapons, mechanical weapons, and chemical weapons. Let's start with biological weapons. Biological weapons are microorganisms like virus, bacteria, fungi, or other toxins that are produced and released deliberately to cause disease and death in humans, animals, or plants. Biological weapons is a subset or a larger class of weapons that refer to weapons of mass destruction which also includes chemical, nuclear, and radiological weapons. For example, the plaque, smallpox, and tularemia. The use of biological agents is a serious problem and the risk of using this agent is increasing. During the past century, more than 500 million people died of infectious disease. Several tens of thousands of these deaths were due to the deliberate release of pathogens or toxins, mostly by the Japanese during their attacks on China during the Second World War. The second one is mechanical weapons. Mechanical weapons contrast with biochemical techniques to varying degrees all of these use the mechanical principles of force, pressure, and momentum which are related to various ratios involving the fundamental physical interactions of mass, length, and time. There are a few examples of mechanical weapons which conceive of the lever, which is the firing mechanism of a pistol, 
the hydraulic press, which is some types of firing device under the pistol, then the crossbow, trebuchet, and cannon. The last one is chemical weapons. A chemical weapon is any toxic chemical that can cause death, injury, incapacitation, and sensory irritation. It deployed via a delivery system such as an artillery shell, rocket, or ballistic missile. Chemical weapons are considered weapons of mass destruction and they are used in armed conflict is a violation of international law. There are a few examples of chemical weapons. First, choking agents. Choking agents is a chemical toxin that directly attack the body's respiratory system when inhaled and cause respiratory failure. Common forms of choking agents include phosgene, chlorine, and chlorobutrin. Next, blister agents. Blister agents can come in forms of gas, aerosol, or liquid that cause severe burns and blistering of the skin. They also can cause complications to the respiratory system if inhaled and digestive tract if ingested. Then the blood agents. Blood agents interfere with the body's ability to use and transfer oxygen through the bloodstream. Blood agents are generally inhaled and then absorbed into the bloodstream. Common forms of blood agents include hydrogen chloride and cyanogen chloride. The use of harmful chemicals in warfare, personal attacks, and assassination dates back centuries, but the rise of industrial production of chemicals in the late 19th century opened the door to the more massive use of chemical agents in combat. The positive effects of science and technology on war. First, it can strengthen the forces of military that bring the unit together. Second, it can give the advance in information technologies that contribute a growing array of strategic capabilities for the forces. Third, it can reduce the durations of the war. Then the last one, it can help promoting stability and preventing any conflict to occur. In the advance of science and technology nowadays, it also have negative effects on war. First, new technologies are making war even more horrific. They will bring more conflict to the cities where casualty will multiply along with chaos and fear. War is always bad, but it's going to become much worse. Second, more innocent people will be affected. The psychological impact upon children living in basements, subject to the sounds, isolated from social system, education, adequate sanitation, and facing food and medical shortage will be increased. Third, more war easily to occur. The advance of technology will cause irresponsible people to cause war easily. Based on this topic, we can conclude that in the current Industrial Revolution Industry 4.0, Advanced robotics technology is playing a very important role in the electronics, automotive, security, food and beverage, consumer goods, scientific and metal industries. The robots are making it possible to achieve an automated factory floor in many industries. The role that science and technology has played in improving the life conditions across the globe is vivid, but the benefit has to be harvested maximum by all the countries. The advancement of science and technology has made things easier for people. It can create more innovation in many fields that will make the country and society become more successful. That's all from us. 
थैंक यू